Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Beer. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. DA, it's all yours. Well, thanks very much, guys. Of course, the NBA has had some legendary trash talkers. But Damian Lillard says it's not really a verbal assault like it used to be. In this era, it's more gestures. From the watch your head to the too small or rock the baby to Trey Young's theatrical bows, players have their ways of sending a message. Kevin? And the message usually received, DA, <laughs> thank you. At this late stage of the season, how hard is it, Greg, for teams not to look ahead to the playoffs and the postseason at this point? Kevin, just about impossible. I mean, if you're already in position, the trap you can't fall into is easing up down the stretch and backpedaling into the postseason. And a look at the starters for San Antonio. Sharing the wing spots, it's Vassell and Johnson. Then it's Jones. Then there's Pirtle. And it's Roby in at the four spot. And for the Pelicans, Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Hayes. Then it's Brandon Ingram. Then there's C.J. McCollum. And it's Daniels in at the two. And he comes up with the deuce. I feel like when C.J. gets a couple of these to go, it accentuates his ability and confidence to score from the outside as well. Now here's Jones. Here's Johnson. Back to Pirtle. Outside, Jones. Six to shoot. Over McCullum. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Now here's Ingram. And the pass to Hayes. McCollum outside. Hayes with the screen for McCollum. And he's good on the three ball. McCollum's got five. Well, that's a go-to for CJ. He looks to spray it from three-point line as much as he possibly can. Pass to Vassell. Ingram against Johnson. Here's Pirtle. Doesn't go that time. Nice deep from Valanciunas. Here's Daniels, covered by Vassell. Pass to Valanciunas. Kicks to Ingram. Valanciunas with a screen on Johnson. Here's Ingram. Offensive rebound. Off with the layup. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now here's Jones taking a look at his stance. He's averaging around nine and a half points a game. And guys, things are looking up in New Orleans. The extension for Zion Williamson reflecting his commitment to this young core and with the eight pick and Dyson Daniels that the Pels added to their bevy of young wing defenders. They're building a team to contend. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And, and while it took Brandon Ingram some time, he has really turned into an incredible player. Well, he's an amazing scorer. He's adding that ability to pass the ball and see the floor. So often you hear about players talking about the game slowing down. Well, for Ingram, it's getting to a Take snail's a pace. Take a break. Two shots. No oh, good on that one. And you look at the way Ingram can get off a shot. When he gets to his spots, there's just no stopping him. Very few players can create like he can. And he's good on the second. A creator indeed. And the name you always hear, Greg, with Ingram as a comparison, Kevin Durant. And that's about as fair a comp as you'll find. Ingram is special with how he can rise up over defenders with that shot. It makes him a lethal weapon late in the game. Pirtle trying to get open as Johnson. They need this one. Oh, and he parks it off the glass. Wow. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. Well, really good ball movement on the entire possession. And then C.J. getting slick. 
Spurs trail by eight. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, their offense has ground to a standstill. Johnson with it. 23 points his last outing. To the inside. It's stolen by Valanciunas. Ingram kicks to McCullough. This is it to Hayes. Now the dish to Ingram. Down to five on the shot clock. The jump hook. Hayes, no good. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Spurs. Looking for the first basket of the game. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. to Vassell. And they've done a nice job controlling the defensive backboard to start this game. Now McCollum. Five points in the game. Pass to Daniel. Back to McCollum. Hayes dishes to McCollum. Over Roby. McCollum no good. Spurs trail by eight. And here's Jones. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Johnson, a wide open look. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Assertive three point shot by Johnson. He's working towards being an efficient long range score. Valanciunas passes to Ingram. He kicks to Daniels. Pocket six. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. Offensive rebound. Hayes, no good. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Vassell, the pass to Jones. Now here is Pirtle. He's covered closely. Johnson outside. Here's Jones. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Coming into this, having notched a win against the Rockets in their last game. And they really got after it from a defensive standpoint throughout that entire game. The turnovers they forced really tell the story. So, so active defensively. And I love when they did force a turnover, they just flat out attacked. The points they got off turnovers swung the game in their favor. Now here's Jones. Jonas Valanciunas unable to get his shot to go. Vassell finds Purtle. Kicks it out to Johnson. Three-pointer. That one no good. And New Orleans will take it the other way. Pass to Daniels. Here's Hayes. Eight points his last outing. Pass to McCollum. Takes the 13-footer. Jump shot is good that time. McCollum's got seven. Spurs trail by seven. And San Antonio calls the first timeout of the game. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. And in that one, the backups came to play. Gave the team an infusion of points that just put them over the top. Well, I talked to the assistant coaching staff. What they were stoked about is that the bench guys came in and played well. So punch off the bench, a big factor in that win.
Bowen's going with a whole new group out there. A different look now for San Antonio. Primo. And there's the pass to Chang. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Nance. San Antonio shooting their first shots of the night from the charity strike. Not a strong suit for this group. Just around 71%. The line for two. And the first one drops. And Jang drops them both. It ended in the bubble, but how about the Spurs playoff streak? 22 consecutive seasons, Greg, coming to an end. Kevin, making it every year from 1998 to 2019, winning five titles over that span, and having the same head coach certainly helped that streak. So did having, though, you know, a couple Hall of Fame. And the Spurs with possession following the score by New Orleans. Here's Primo. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And you're going to take as many of those high percentage shots as you can get. Alvarado passes to Jones. Here's Alvarado. Kicks it out to Jones. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. And it's Graham missing. Spurs trail by five. Pass to Primo. Poked away. McDermott passes to Jang. And now Jones running the floor all by himself. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Some rookies take time to get acclimated to the NBA. But that was not the case with Herbert Jones. Yeah, Herb started his second game in the league. And for a second-round pick to make that immediate of an impact, it's pretty rare in the NBA. He did play all four years of college ball, but he came in the NBA ready to rock. That free throw, no good. And the second free throw, good. And taking a look at the Pelicans, lots of talent have come through that program over the years, and they're loaded now. Yeah, they brought in some talent. They've done a good job in the draft and trying to find ways to hold on to these guys along with having a healthy Zion. And all that comes together. It's definitely going to help their chances to be more competitive. So it's the Spurs now. Six-point game. And how about the interior defense here early on? They have really shut down the middle. Now here's Richardson. Turned in an outstanding game against Atlanta. Yeah, but you have to like the mentality to get inside, even though they're struggling to finish. Here's Alvarado. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Murphy from the arc. He can't hit that time. And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. 
There's 117 left to play here in the first. And Zhang kicks to McDermott. Cranes the three-pointer. You want to pressure up on McDermott even when he doesn't have the ball. That time when he caught it, ready to shoot. Graham, the pass to Murphy. Here's Alvarado. Out left to the wing. Passes it to Murphy. Now here's Graham. Six on the shot clock over Richardson. And the Pelicans miss again. But he lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. Here's Primo. Graham defending. Primo, the pass to Sohan. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Now, here is Murphy. His last outing, he had eight points. Jones dishes to Murphy. The pass to Graham. Nans a screen. And it's Graham missing. Richardson outside. And a closely contested grit and crying first quarter comes to a close. Pelicans lead by one. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from New Orleans. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And looking at what we've seen from the Pelicans, what do you guys think? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. They trail by one. On the court right now for the Spurs. They've got Keldon Johnson. Josh Richardson out there with Jones. Then it's Gorgie Dan. And it's Zohan in at the four-man position. A priority for Johnson continuing to work on his jumper, especially off the catch like there. Alan Junis sets a screen for McCollum. Takes the 13-footer. The putback. And stay with the play, Palanchunas. And folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Jones with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And there is a whistle, and that's going to go on Jackson Hayes. That's his first foul. We know the league's cracking down on those dangerous plays that risk a player's health. Why was that less of a focus when you play? Uh, that's a great question. You know, I think it's smarter to approach the game this way. We, we don't want to have unnecessary injury because of guys maybe just taking it a little too far with the physicality. Well, Mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. And Hayes kicks to Ingram. Hayes with the screen for Ingram. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. And now a three-point Pelican lead. Spurs shooting at ghastly 26% from the field. Their offensive game looking completely out of whack. Chang the pass to Richardson. Trying to get open is Chang. Richardson no luck. New Orleans leading by three. McCollum left side. And he uses the glass on the way. McCollum's got nine points. And after that ragged first quarter, they're hitting some momentum, some confidence. Nice flow. Jones, the pass to Chang. Kicks to Johnson. Sweet little float. He has seven. Can't allow Johnson to get that deep. Once he's there, he's going to be able to score. McCollum against Jones. McCollum dishes to Ingram. Alan Junis with a screen on Johnson. And that one's good, Ingram. And Ingram really could handle either part of that pick and roll. He could be the screener, 
and then he can roll or he can score off it. Nice option. Now here's Jones. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Pass to Richardson over Daniels. And that one hits back iron. New Orleans in the lead. Now McCollum. 14 points from him the last game against Houston. And stolen by Jang. To the paint. And there's Johnson. That's good. On the assist by Jones. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thanks very much. Now, for 22 straight years, San Antonio made the playoffs. They haven't made the last three postseasons. And former Spur Robert Ory worries if they'll ever be relevant again, saying, I hate to say that. San Antonio is a small market. Guys just aren't going to go there. And that's a dire prediction for such a storied and successful franchise. Wow, no kidding, David. All right, thank you. Now here's McCullough. Keldon Johnson unable to get his last shot to go. Tries from 10, and it's finished off inside by McCullough. McCullough's got the lead up to eight now for New Orleans. Jones finds Johnson. 11 feet away. It's rebounded by Hayes. Hayes has got five rebounds tonight. And Greg Kelvin Johnson is listed at 6'5". But he plays much bigger than that. He has the strength to fight for rebounds with anybody. Fearless on the court and plays with an endless motor. His strength and willingness to use it makes him valuable. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Now, here's Richardson. He's covered by Daniels. Outside, Jones. Back to Richardson. Jang with the screen for Jones. Roby. That three off the mark. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Pass to Daniels. Allen June is inside. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Rockets in Houston. And, and equally impressive on the backboards. I thought his rebounding was huge. Now here's Jones. Jonas Valanciunas is able to get his shot to go. Here's Chang. And a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Pelicans. People say the mid-range shot is dying, but so far in this one, that has not been the case for this team. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's a lot of rubble in there, but they're continuing to go right at the defense. And he hits the first of three. on the second free throw. And he nails the third. Boy, he's got a great stroke. From the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Pass to Daniels. Nans a screen. And Pirtle sends it back. And you got to give appreciation to how Pirtle punishes shooters. A dynamite shot blocker with impeccable timing. Now here's McDermott. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Atlanta. And the pass to Bissell. Cans the shot from the wing. Pelicans leading by three. Alvarado passes to Murphy. Ingram a screen on Jane. Feeds to Ingram. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. 
Ingram adding more muscle and a little more moxie each and every year. Pelicans shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And their success rate on the season right around 77%. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Ingram just continuing to impress and taking strides in the right direction. Just a tremendous amount of offensive weaponry. Devontae Graham's checked in for Daniels. He's perfect from the line this time. Spurs trail by five. And here is Vassell. He had 13 points in the win against Atlanta. To the left wing. Here's Sohan. Drills the three-pointer. Sohan's got his second basket of the night. Well, that's a shot he can hit. If you give it to him, you need a little more energy on defense that next trip down. Ingram outside. Nans a screen. Fires from deep. And it's Ingram missing. For San Antonio, they've gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Zoan, the pass to Primo. McDermott sets a screen. Rejected by Ingram. Well, Brandon Ingram is so long, and that's what we could say to the ball. So long. Jones checked in for the Pelicans. Vassell kicks to McDermott. Just three to shoot. Here's Sohan. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Pass to Murphy. Here's Jones. He's defended by McDermott. Nans a screen. And again, no good by New Orleans. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Here's Primo. No good. That would have tied it. New Orleans has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Here's Alvarado. He's defended by McDermott. Pass to Murphy. From deep. Hits the three-point bomb. Murphy's got himself on the board with three there. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Here's Primo. He kicks it to McDermott. Here's Vassell. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Vassell's got five points now this quarter. Alvarado passes to Jones. And here's Nance. Shoots over Pirtle. And Pirtle sends it back. And it goes out of bounds. A last touch by Pirtle. And the Pelicans with possession here. Three-pointer, Graham. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Graham, an active shooter. It keeps that defense nervous, which is why they got compromised. For New Orleans, they have made four free throws from the line and missed two. Three shots. Three shots. And he's good on the first of three. And you think of Graham, he's a potent shooter from the outside, and he can get hot. Someone who really helps space the floor. He's off on the second. Go, 
this. We got this. Here's Sohan, an 11 point game for him in the win against Atlanta. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So his passing right up there on the level with his scoring in that one. Here's Green after the basket by San Antonio. Jacks up a three. And it's Primo with the rebound. And a struggle for him tonight, but if they can make this lead hold up. He can just chalk this up as one of those nights. Now, here's Vassell. He's got five. Spurs working the ball around now. Six to shoot. Zoan, the pass to Primo. Pirtle. And it's good. With time running down on the shot clock. Pirtle's got the lead up to one now for San Antonio. Passes it to Murphy. Here's Alvarado. Kicks it to Murphy. Now the pass to Alvarado. Now here's Graham. And the Pelicans miss again. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. You take your time. You don't give them another possession. And hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. For the key jumper, no good. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid range shot is not a high value shot, even with little or no defense on you. Thanks very much here with Greg Popovich. Pop in a close game. What makes the difference in the second half? Lots of things, you know. It's a game of mistakes. It's a game of playing well. Who knows? Always love your philosophy, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Welcome. First up, let's look at the two guys who were each leading their respective teams through the first half. These guys are leading their way offensively. It's hard work doing all that scoring. Wouldn't you agree with that, Shaq? Uh, not for me, it wasn't. Piece of cake or barbecue chicken, whichever you prefer. Oh, both at the same time. I'm hungry. Getting back to the New Orleans Pelicans, what a tight first half. Hate to say it, the three ball just isn't doing it for them. They have to try something different. More movement, screens, drive to the bucket, layups, points in the paint. Something. Yeah, a lot of that. I mean, I agree with all that. Maybe be more disciplined when it comes to shot selection. And, and maybe I should be more disciplined and not interrupting you. That too. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter.
we've got second half action for you. And if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. C.J. McCollum really making a difference here. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half. Just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half and wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Jackson Hayes is out there with Jonas Valanciunas. Then it's Ingram. Then there's C.J. McCollum. And it's Daniels in at the two spot. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Now here's Ingram. Back to Daniels. McCollum kicks to Daniels. To the middle. Here's Hayes. And Hayes throws it down. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is. And he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Here's Jones. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Bertle dishes to Johnson. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. And you look at Jakob Pertl, great touch and presence inside the paint. Can get you with a move or just power his way to the hoop. And that one's good, Ingram. And I love the tenacity, guys. He simply can will his way into games at times and exert his presence. Now, here's Vassell. Five points in the game. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Alan Junis has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And Greg Pirtle has so many options to score inside. And that's why he's such an efficient scorer, Kevin. Very composed at the rim. Doesn't need a lot of time to get his shot off inside. McCollum, no good. San Antonio trailing here. Now, here's Vassell. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Hurdle finds Johnson. From 17 feet out, and it's Ingram with the rebound. And so it's Ingram who brings up the ball for New Orleans. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. The Spurs have gone one of three since starting the second half. McCollum against Jones. Pass to Pirtle. Now here's Johnson. Defense right on him. Spurs passing it around. Jones for three. And it's Ingram with the rebound. Ingram's got four rebounds in this game. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Daniels, no good. And San Antonio has possession. It's a one-point game. Pass to Purdy. Johnson left side. Shoots over Ingram. A putback. It's good on the putback. Purtle's got the lead up to one now for the Spurs. And Purtle has a stick with it mentality on the offensive class. Just throwing himself against the board. Now here's McCullum. He's got a level. Alan Junis, good. Third quarter, guys, and this has been a neck-and-neck -neck game. Both teams getting it done defensively as evidenced by the eight lead changes thus far. And Antonio calls timeout.
some changes here for the Spurs. Gorgie Dang comes in for Jakob Pertl. And Josh Richardson subbed in for Vassell. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Passes to Chang. Johnson outside. Five on the clock. Richardson outside. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. And it's Ingram missing. The Spurs have gone 2 of 7 from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvements. Here. For three, Richardson. It's rebounded by Hayes. Hayes has got seven rebounds in the game. There's the pass to Valanciunas. Over Roby. That one off the back iron and out. San Antonio's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Richardson the pass to Chang. He dishes it to Johnson. It's good from the top of the key. And that's 13 points for Johnson. Clearly, Johnson is in attack mode tonight. He's going after shots and making a big effort for his team. McCollum kicks to Ingram. Down low. It's stolen by Jones. On the wing, Johnson. He's covered by Ingram. Pass to Jones. To Johnson lets it go from deep. It's rebounded by Hayes. Hayes has got his eighth rebound here tonight. And the three pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. Obi the pass to Jones. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Takes a three. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not so unlucky 13 shots. You know, some guys who rely on their strength aren't great shooters. Johnson, though, is in a different category. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. the standings in the Western Conference and see how the playoff race is shaping up. You look at the Pelicans. They've done well enough to be in fifth place in the conference so far. And, of course, the Spurs. Not really any threat right now as their record showing a lot more losses. And, you know, for the Pelicans, they've fulfilled a lot of the promise they showed coming into the season. But they just haven't taken that next leap forward so many thought they might. 
they still had enough players take positive steps forward to call this season a success. Maybe they're not at the top of the standings where they'd hope they'd be, but they're in really good position in terms of the playoff picture. San Antonio on defense. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Pass to Primo. Passes it to Sohan. And another basket for San Antonio. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And a coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Graham. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. And not a way to get out of a funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the wild one he took there. Pick off in midair. And now Daniels pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right. And that's severe punishment right there. And how about the sequence in its entirety? Momentum swing, and you love the effort here. Here's Richardson. Here's Chang. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for San Antonio? Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. I mean, they're really looking to just make that extra pass. You probably have to touch on as well that tonight their penetration has been awesome. I mean, they put force on this game, attacking off the bounce, and a willingness to do that has paid off. So it's the Pelicans now. They trail by seven. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Nance against Jang. Nance passes to Alvarado. Good on the three-point shot. Alvarado's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Here's Primo. Here's Sohan. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And that is a huge block, given how close this game is. A stop like that was right on point. Pelicans trail by four. If you're with the ball. Graham, the pass to Alvarado. Spurs. in intimidation number five the Spurs I mean terrific rim protection I mean they rotate and help on the inside as well as anybody and of course you want to keep offenses on the outside shooting jump shots and that continues to be the goal and that's out of bounds San Antonio will retain possession San Antonio against Richardson. McDermott, no one around him. The pass to Sohan. And it's out of bounds to the Pelicans. And a chance here to look at the numbers for Daniels. He's right around nine points a night. Three assists and two rebounds. And you love how he facilitates their offense. Just a terrific decision maker. So many times it's with the extra pass. And man, he's delivering. With the drive. San Antonio with the rebound. Jang's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Pass to Sohan. The jump hook. Jang, no luck. Pelicans trail by four. On the wing, Daniels. 
115 left in the third. And then slams it in. Yeah, for Nance Jr., it's about the quickness with which he can be impactful. Here's Primo. That one goes in. Zhang's got five points now in the quarter. 58 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Pass to Daniels. Teardrop shot. Rebound by Chang. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring, but let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Pass to Sohan. Now the feed to Chang. Good work there as it goes. Now it's a six-point San Antonio lead. I like seeing Josh Richardson distribute the ball, especially when his teammates are wide open. That makes for an easy pass. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Nance a screen on Richardson. Graham from outside. Rebound by Jang. Jang's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Substitution on the court. Here's Sohan. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. We've got more in store for you right after this. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure pack basketball. On the four for San Antonio. The four and the five. It's Johnson and Pirtle. Jones is out there with Devin Vassell. And it's Richardson in at the small forward position. Now here's McCollum. Lock at six. From deep. And they'll get another chance. He's with it. Johnson on him. Hayes finds Ingram. Over Richardson, and it's Ingram missing. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Johnson against Alan Junis. Back to Johnson. A three. It's not going to go for him. So the Pelicans will take it the other way. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. McCollum right side. Dishes it to Ingram. And there's the pass to Alvarado. Here's Hayes. And the Pelicans miss again. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Nice shot by Pirtle. Pirtle's got the lead up to eight now for San Antonio. That's their third straight make off an assist. Pass to Hayes. And here's McCollum. It's stolen by Johnson. Pass 
last of this inning. Johnson against McCullough. Unloads from 13. That one wide left. And so it's McCullough. He'll bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Looking to get on the board here in the fourth still. Ingram against Jones. Shot clock at six. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Now it appears an injury out on the floor, and that does not look like any fun. And boy, when you see someone hurting like this, it's always scary. Yeah, it reminds you of what's really important. Health, number one. Everything else comes after that. Roby, he's checked in for San Antonio. Now, Vassell. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Pirtle's got four this quarter. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Greg, Devin Vassell came in as a 3 and D type player. But he's grown beyond that. Uh, he has added secondary ways to contribute on offense. Still not a great shot creator, but can finish plays in a variety of ways to help his team. Take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Corky Jane. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. These fans have been stunned by his performance. Of all the players they thought might do the most damage against him tonight, his name was not high on that list. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Guys, here's what Willie Green was doing in reviewing the plan with his team. He was begging them to step it up. He said, we've got to make the move now, or we're going to be out of time and out of luck. Give it everything you've got out there. Kevin? Thank you, David. Here's Alvarado. And McCullum puts up a deep three. They get it back. Passes it to Alvarado. Here's Hayes. New Orleans moving the ball around. It's Ingram on the wing. Richardson covering. And it's Ingram missing. Spurs leading by 10. And here is Vassell. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Devin Vassell. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. San Antonio making a switch here. Nick Dermott's checked in. Okay. 
and he sinks the second. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Here's Ingram. And the Pelicans miss again. Maybe there are ways to contribute that don't involve shooting the basketball. That's the best way that maybe he can help them out in trying to win this game. Here's McCollum. And they've got time, Greg, to chip away at this lead. Yeah, still lots of time, but they have to play smart if they want to erase this deficit. Now here's McCollum. Valanciunas with a screen on Jones. And there's Valanciunas on the assist by McCollum. McCollum's got three assists in the game. Now here's Vassell. Screen by Pirtle. Inside, it's stolen by Valanciunas. The pass to Alvarado. Back to McCollum. Alan Judas with a screen on Jones to the inside. And Pirtle sends it back. And then they continue to control the glass. McDermott kicks to Vassell. Pass to Jones. Just five to shoot. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It goes on C.J. McCullough. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Trey Jones taking two shots. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And so Jones nails both of them. And the play-in tournament, Greg, is here to stay, but the terminology is somewhat in limbo. Is that going to be part of the playoffs? You hear people say it's not the playoffs. It's the play-in. Maybe the term postseason should cover both the play-in and the playoff. Something to think about. San Antonio leading by 11. Nick Dermott for three. Rebounded by Alan Junis. Alan Junis has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. McCollum with the ball. Shoots over Bissell. And Hayes throws it down. McCollum with a great job using the screen. Deadly either shooting or passing. Just a great job of reading things in action off the pick. Now here's Jones. to Bissell. Launches a three. Pelicans pull it in. It, it close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Alvarado passes to Ingram. Down low. And Hayes throws it down. Brandon Ingram at that size able to survey the entire floor and make a play. San Antonio's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Here's Vassell, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It goes on C.J. McCullough. Third team foul. At the line for the Spurs, Devin Vassell. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. Daniels, he's checked in for C.J. McCollum. Richardson, he's checked in for San Antonio. He 
hits the second from the line. Pelicans trail by eight. Here's Alvarado. Dish now to Ingram. Hayes with the screen for Ingram to the middle. And Hayes throws it down. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Free throw good from Hayes. And it's Jones with the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. Leading by five. And the rejection by Valanciunas. You can feel the presence as Valanciunas gets himself in the right spot. And the Spurs with possession. Here's Jones. Six to shoot. Roby. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Roby's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. I'm out called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. against Richardson. Now here's Ingram. Guarded close over Richardson. And again, no good by New Orleans. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. A chance here to get a quick injury report. Now, let's check in with David Aldridge to see how Keldon Johnson's doing. David. Hey, Kevin, I chatted briefly with the head athletic trainer for San Antonio. And the news is not good. Right now, it looks like a broken ankle with additional damage to the surrounding connective tissue. He's definitely going to be sitting the rest of this one out and potentially a significantly longer time before he'll be back on the court. Kevin, really, really bad Two news tonight. In Good information, David. He's certainly been on our minds. Now, at least, uh, great. we have a little more clarity. Yeah, now they have the information they need to take the best course of action. Everybody wishing the best for him. We all know how badly he wants to be out there playing alongside his teammates and competing. And it's the Pelicans with the ball after the miss from Jakob Bertel. 
133 left in the fourth quarter. Now Jones passes it to Purdy. And it's the cell in the corner. And it's off from three-point range. Pelicans trail by eight. And here is Ingram. Hayes with the screen for Ingram. Shoots over Brassell. Here's Alvarado. It's good from long range. A pretty free look from three-point range. The D forgot about him on that possession. Well, you concern yourself with the other guys who you think are going to damage you. And he stepped up and delivered that huge three-point shot. Now, here's Vassell to the paint. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Pearl is a massive guy. Someone that uses his height exceptionally well to get high-quality looks at the bucket. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. A critical possession right here. Crowd on pins and needles, Kev. Richardson against Ingram to the inside. Puts it up from 12. Misses off the right iron. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Jackson. Four. Fifteen. Devin Two shots. the first one and that makes it a seven point lead. And he is unable to get the second one. And so it's Ingram who brings up the ball for the New Orleans Pelicans. Yes! And now they trail by just four. Pretty much not a player in the league is going to pass up a shot like that so much for the defense. And an intentional foul right there. Team three penalty. At the line for the scores, Devin the fifth. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. the first one and that puts them up by five and he hits both free throws here so now it's a six point ball game free throws always a little bit sweeter when they can add to your lead timeout called here the Pelicans decide to talk it over they're trailing by six there's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
Ingram outside. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Valanciunas passes to Alvarado. Ingram kicks to Daniels. Off target from three-point range. And they go to the intentional foul. Fifth personal foul. At the line for the Spurs, Isaiah Rowe taking two shots. Shooting two. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. There's some versatility in what Roby does out on the floor, and that certainly helps out on the defensive end. He'll be the first one to tell you that he can guard any position in the NBA. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. Alvarado passes to Ingram. Three-pointer, Daniels. The shot misses. And so it's San Antonio with the win. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.